hi future RNs so uh, there is a little bit of a hot topic when it comes to your nursing boards right now um, how many people are feeling anxious about the idea of the boards changing yeah the NCLEX RN is changing by now you should be familiar with the buzzword NGN how anxious are you and how ready are you and what will it take for you to be ready let's talk about it Hi, future RNs. This is Dr. Cadigan, and we're going to be talking today about the NGN. I know this is a big buzzword that has a lot of people very anxious. So let's talk about this anxiety. Let's talk about what's changing and why it's changing. So first things first, we have to understand why the exam is changing. The, nurse council, the National Councils of State Boards of Nursing have over decades protected the public, protected your colleagues, protected your organizations by just measuring your competency before you were given the green light to go ahead and practice. Now your, your expectations have changed, your autonomy or your ability to practice autonomy autonomously has increased so much that now we have to be tested to demonstrate competency at a more enhanced level. So we're measuring your clinical reasoning, your clinical judgment, and your ability to make sound decisions on paper or in front of a computer. That should translate to you being a better RN, a safe practitioner in real life practice. So what's really changing? One thing's for sure, you will notice if you test after April 1st, 2023, you will notice that you will have questions that are in the form of case studies that are either unfolding or standalone questions. With these case studies, you will notice that there are new kinds of innovative test items. We won't get into that, we'll leave that for another discussion, but you'll see different kinds of test items that you have not become accustomed to. Um, you're going to see a little more diversity in how the questions look, how you select answers, whether it's graphics or charts. Another big change that you'll notice is the length of the exam. Previously, we looked at um, 75 questions as our minimum. Now we're going to see an 85 question minimum. 15 of these questions, like before, are not going to be scored towards your exam. They're just going to, you're just going to help with a little bit of research. And then you'll have a maximum of 150 questions, right? Of that, you're going to have three case studies, which will account for 18 questions. And remember, I told you, they're going to be really innovative. So if you were not prepared for this during your nursing school career, like during your prep time, you're going to get acquainted. You have to get acquainted with these new and innovative types of questions. Okay, so what's going to remain the same? In the NCLEX RN, what you can rely on being the same and consistent as it was before is that your content areas will not change. So your management of care, your safety and infection control, your physiological, your psychosocial, your health um, promotion, all those things are going to remain the same. Once again, the only thing that's really changing is how you're being tested, the types of questions. We just really want you to demonstrate your ability to critically think, to apply real sound clinical judgment and decision making that could translate to practice. So what else is, is going to remain the same? Your test is still going to be about nurse patient interaction it's still going to present you with real world case scenarios and ask you to apply ivory tower textbook principles to your decision making so that won't change what else won't change it's gonna call on your fundamental thinking your fundamentals of nursing, the same thing that you covered in your first semester of nursing school, of your core nursing content, it's going to come right back. And this has always been the case, and this is not going to change. We just covered three things that are going to change about the NCLEX RN come April 1st, 2023, and three things that are definitely going to remain the same. If you're still feeling a little bit anxious, I do always encourage candidates to take a a trip to visit uh, www.ncsbn.org and just find out a little bit about 
the NCLEX blueprint and you want to take a look at the 2023 blueprint which will be your test guide for the, the NGN changes. If you feel like you need a little bit more guidance, somebody to help you with this anxiety, um, you have a few more questions that you, you can definitely um, subscribe and leave us a comment and we'll see what we can do to help with that anxiety. Look forward to more NGN specific content. Okay, future RNs, don't forget to check out our affiliate link for Silvestri's uh, strategies for student success on NGN test items. If you feel like you need a little bit more practice, this is a great resource. My future RNs, see you soon.